Somebody went in on team one fast there. I don't know whether I trust your judgement. Oh, two people did. Kitten and Sotha. Good work. Got my 1,852 points riding on this. Oh. Big levelling day today. And we're doing it all in the city. Deeper into the city than we've been before. But from my experience, the city is not as deadly as the northeast. You already let Discord know. Look at that. Absolutely flying. <sighs> yeah, yesterday there was a death. Eaten by a dog in the prime of my life. Awful. This. Yes, prediction started. I have a feeling it's Princess Scrabbler today. It might just be. This playthrough is all of a sudden hardcore. I have no space left to die. I have one health bar between success, victory, and the credits. And a pretty pink tiara. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Dougie, good morning, and thank you for the bits. Kitten, Chaz, Jam Wedge, Sothan, Train, welcome to the stream, everybody. The final chance. My goal now has to be to level up as fast as I can to level 25 so I can put a perk in Gun Nut 3 and build a suppressor for the next rank of sniper rifle. If I can one shot everything, it can't one shot me. I went back and I reviewed the footage. I still have no idea why they made it in this game where a Rottweiler can do 80 damage in one bite and a legendary mutant uh, super hound only does about 20%. I don't get it. I don't get it, and I'm the ultimate victim of it. Yes, as you say, Sothan, I saw you mention that yesterday, actually. It could be that the NPC crit me. And if it was a critical hit, it was quite a critical hit. Woof. Good afternoon, slash good morning, everybody. Are you all well? The prediction is up. The streamer said it. He's going to wear a pretty pink tiara. In Discord, not in real life. Right. Okay, we're good. I mentioned that I'm playing Fallout 4 to Survival to a friend that plays this a lot, and their response was, you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, that's where the best gameplay lies then, surely. Good work, Jamwich. Right, you may notice I am in a slightly different place. I logged off yesterday in the Brotherhood of Steel headquarters, and um, instead of going all the way back north, I decided I'd nip down to Diamond City, and... I would sort out the inventory, which has been sorted out. We are now 156 out of 210 carry capacity, even while carrying the mighty Institute rifle that I haven't taken home yet. I've done a bit of tinkering and a bit of trading. I am now 100 and f yeah, I've got 160 plus uh, 10 millimeter rounds, and we've got over 100 308. We're good for everything, and I've also made a plan. Now, yesterday, the Brotherhood of Steel suggested that I do two jobs in the city for them. One of them is to clear out, I think, clear out Trinity Plaza. And the other one is to find a piece of valuable technology from Hubris Comics. These are areas, as you can tell, I've not been to yet. However, one area I have been is Backstreet Apparel. Now, while I was in town yesterday, last uh, yesterday evening, preparing for the stream, I discovered... A bounty notice, I'll go show you where I got it from, that told me to clear out um, raiders at Backstreet Apparel, which is somewhere we already cleared because they were worrying Oberland Station. So what we're going to do today, we're going to stay in this area of the city. We're going to go from Backstreet Apparel to Trinity Plaza to Hubris Comics. We're going to clear out whatever's there. We're going to hit our hole and hopefully level up to the big level 25. Because at 25, I could get Gun Nut 3 which will let me put a suppressor on that super duper sniper rifle I've got back at the base. Then, maybe we can finally put this pipe rifle away and get to one shot and stuff. Deal? On it like a car bonnet. Did you level any in between the two? Maybe a level difference? Um, I don't think so, Chaz, no, but that would be quite a level difference. I'd be a monster if it was that sharp. Why can't I ever win at marbles? I don't know, Dougie. I also, yesterday, I added onto the um, scoreboard in the pins 
the Eurovision line. If you are above the Eurovision line, you are currently qualified for Eurovision. If you are below it, you aren't. Luckily, for you nerds, we are, we've got 25 winners. And there are 26 spots. So currently everybody with a point is qualified. However, we only need two people to get their new points. And all of a sudden everybody on one has to, re has to fight for the final spots. It's below one at the moment, uh, Dougie. So everybody that qualifies has one. Mind right, welcome to the stream. Either I win or it's a double marbles day. I mean, that's true. Mind right, good morning as well. Shake, good afternoon. Can I have a chop form table, please, before I make my prediction? <laughs> uh, yesterday I died, and the two days before it, I stayed alive. Right, so we are in. Have a nice day. I already did, uh, Yafim, I appreciate it. We are in Diamond City. Can somebody type the word one for me before we go north the back street of Peril? I'm thinking that wow effect where being four levels instead of three under can cause crits. I forgot the term they use. Is that a thing in modern WoW? It might be. Chaz, I'm going to win you a cake. If I win this cake, I'm going to survive the rest of the playthrough. Never mind. It's a bad day. Team 2, I'll give you the points already. Dougie on Team 2. Chaz is on Team 2. Kitten, Jamwedge, Sothan, Team 1. I thought that was in OG. I'm not sure if stuff's automatically guaranteed to crit. I just know it does damage and it like bypasses all of your armour and that kind of thing. Or bypasses most of it. It's a beautiful morning in Diamond City. Um... I found the Backstreet Apparel like quest I'm gonna start your over here as I was walking around. So I picked this up and I got the mission. Uh, it's one of the miscellaneous ones. Clear the raiders from Backstreet Apparel. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go clear some raiders, clear out Trinity Plaza for the Brotherhood. Then we're going to go and find a piece of Brotherhood technology from a comic shop or a comic factory or something nearby. And that's the goals for today. Good morning, everybody. You got a staring problem? No. I need to check in, actually, to see if my article in the paper has been released as well. I was interviewed for the newspaper. That's how important I am. Satan, welcome to the stream. Team one, bit of faith today. Don't make me regret my life decisions. I mean, you're already here, Satan, so there's, there's not a lot I can do about your life decisions, but maybe your prediction's fine. The broadsider is the answer to the age-old question. Would it be fun to walk around and shoot people with a portable naval cannon? Yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> Thank you, loading screen. As you can see, level 22 and a half. That includes um, a little bit of building work and cooking. Satan, I'm going to do you right here. Right. What we need to do to start off with is go to Backstreet Apparel via the road to the right, and then it's pretty much near my um, Hangman's Alley base which I tickled up to have a bed or two in it. Turns out, at the um, Minutemen settlement... Diamond so the... City is the place to live, I tell you. You made the I... right choice coming here. Can everything just stop interrupting me as I'm walking north? Yeah, I... Well, I can show you right now. There is a Minuteman settlement here, which I've got control of, called Hangman's Alley. And it's right outside the city, which is kind of... Perfect in all regards in terms of location. I don't know how defensible it is. Uh, how do I get into it? It's through here. No, round this next corner. It's all quite over on Super Mutant Alley. Yeah, I um, I I'm sorry, everybody. You just make yourself comfortable. I yesterday accidentally engaged in a little bit of grow house. Now, I'm as sorry to say it as you are to hear it, but I found a solution. I think I'm safe, aren't I, walking down here? I don't need to worry too much. I've never seen anything in this. Why are there Minutemen here, and why are they running? As I was saying, I've not seen anything in this area. They ran out of my settlement. Has my settlement been destroyed? 
No, that's my... Okay. It's fine. Just relax. Both of you, relax. It's all right. It's all right. The mission that I was given by Mr. Preston Garvey was... To Ignore that. That's fine. The mission I was given by Mr. Preston Garvey was to set up a communications array or whatever, a recruitment beacon for this place. It turns out I left it on by mistake. I've turned it off now, as you can see by the red light, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Arm's not much, but it's and seven and eight you saw running out into the distance. Is that a ninth? I accidentally invited a million people to this settlement, which is essentially just dirty rags and old planks of wood. Um, unlike Twitch, you can turn off the grow house button. But unfortunately, now I have a billion mouths to feed in this settlement and no way to do it. So we might have to set up some kind of... I don't know where I'd set up a farm in a dirty old alleyway. Hmm. But for now, Backstreet Apparel. Isn't it weird when sometimes you're thinking about someone and then they suddenly appear? Anyway, my dad just caught me masturbating. <laughs> Santa, welcome to the stream. I've actually not heard that one before. That's pretty good. <laughs> right, Backstreet Apparel, Santa, good afternoon. Whatever they were looking at seems to be dead but well, they maybe unless they would they, just, they had their guns drawn didn't they there's somebody over there on that ship oh god they were gutting whales look i think i killed everybody on this ship hello kit or island adventure right backstreet apparel backstreet apparel i've already cleaned out for overland station but apparently there's raiders in it again so i'm gonna go and Investigate. If it's just a case of clearing out a few raiders from a location I've already been in and I'm already familiar with, then surely that's easy XP and I'm not going to just fucking die. Prediction's still up, by the way. If I die, as always, before the prediction ends, the prediction is void and we will make a new one. Oh shit, we're here already. They have re. I wonder if the bounty system just picks a building and this one happens to have picked. I'm back into hidden straight away. How many raiders are there? Yeah, there's turret, turret up there as well, isn't there? Is there any more raiders? I hope the whole interior hasn't respawned. There's a shopping trolley turret, isn't there? There he is, look. Okay. Three kills done nicely. No idiot savant props just yet. I can take that. I really want a better sniper rifle. This one's just not pulling its weight anymore. And I don't use a gun that isn't silenced for the sake of... Well, dying, essentially. Yeah, it's quiet now. It still might be one of the best episodes of South by but I think it's it's often voted as it, right? There you go, look. I keep getting hunting rifles and stuff. This thing does 60 base damage. Mine does 80 when it's fully modified. So if I could put a silencer on something like that... What is that? He said, okay, but as I was saying, it's probably the best episode of South Park. The one with the Hello Kitty Island Adventure. The South, the WoW one, right? Reading an email about the new hire. Okay, I got shot immediately in here previously, didn't I? I think there's two people there. What is it? It's definitely more than one. person in a different room. They have respawned. The traps have respawned as well. Okay. I'll take the XP. This one was a shotgun, wasn't it? On a vice. Yeah. I want to trap this side as well. God, there's oil. Loads of oil. And a grenade bouquet. If I bang my head on that grenade, team... <laughs> team 2 win. Has the loot respawned as well? No. Not all of it. Okay, so if there's no other raiders in here, is the 
I was going to say, is the turret still here? But I can hear it. Okay. Can I get away with this? Oh, I so much prefer being in areas I've been in before. If the loot's respawned, there'll be some fashionable glasses around here. Is there anything else I got in here that I liked? It's a clothing shop right now, some good gear. So it's dead, I'm assuming. Yeah. Take it slow, take it steady, get the cash. I wonder if skill books and stuff respawn. Perhaps surely not, right? That room was toilets and stuff, then through here was the stairs, right? Let's just have a quick look. Take the ammo from the turret. Patched, which means idiot savant's gonna prop more often, but I get less XP per kill, which I don't think is good. What was in here previously? Nice. One of the ladies you work with is pitching a fit because she has to come back into the office. Is that stealth boy? I will take a second stealth boy. Jet, duct tape, all good. What, because of your absence kit? All right, deep breaths. I can't afford to die. I need to do everything super carefully. If I get swarmed by two raiders, the run might be over. And do we want team two to win? There's a person right on the other side of that door, look. Okay, and they won't be baited out. I'm working for a moment more due to growing a person and the other girl is spending time with her dying father. Hell, she, 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 she should understand. This person is right there. If there's more than one person in that room, they might bark and call everybody else because this person was talking to multiple people, right? So she isn't alone, or he isn't alone. But if I open this door now, I'm going to open the door onto said person. Let me have a look. I'm sure I heard. Did I? Am I going? Did I hear multiple voices? Oh, it's this again. Ah, memories. I think that might be the eyeglasses that I used to wear. The older woman has gone to stay at home now, but stay at home up to now due to no point in working in the office with just a manager. Now we have a new hire coming in, and the manager is requiring her to come in to help muck in. She's very unhappy with that. As long as he's not taking it out on you two, though, right? Do I just burst this door open and shoot this person down? What is this? What is this? Game? I have to get into... What if, if that person's got a shotgun, I die? Oh, shit. Hello. I. Where did you come from? Crit, 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 crit. Right, I wasn't watching. Did that person just phase through the door or am I seeing things? I just got Idiot Savant on a quest. It is possible. I just got 800 XP. Five times XP. Oh. That was amazing. That was wild. All right, all right, let me get in here. Okay, Fallout fucked up a little bit there. Tactical, powerful pipe. Okay. Raised to gird it. I'm assuming this that guy was on his own in here. The quest's completed. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, every time I complete a quest, now I want idiots of to prop. That was ridiculous. Okay, prediction complete. Time to die now so we can enjoy stream. <laughs> Alkirion, welcome to the stream. Right, I can't take gun at three. Ooh, sneak four is available. You are now 50% harder to detect while sneaking and running. What else is there available to me? There's no rank of... It's got to be sneak, right? I can't not take sneak. 
If it's there, I have to take it, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, two more levels, and then we can get, we can start going crazy with uh, scopes. Alkyrio, good morning. The prediction is over. It's true. If you missed out, you missed out. Unfortunate. Do I keep going here, or do I do we go to the next quest? Seven three oh eight ammo. Short hunting rifle. Look, they do sixty two damage. Basic. And if I can get to level 25, then I can start putting scopes on those things. Yes. I'm so excited after that idiot savant proc. Do we go upstairs and kill everything for more XP? I am leveling, aren't I? I think I do. I think I'm going to clear this place out. I may regret it, but I have to do it. He is. Um. Look is on my side. Take a carrot, that'll help with the new farm that we're making. 230 XP from a single kill after getting 800 from a quest. Whoa. Didn't it look good, though, Sid? Tell me it didn't look good. It looked like victory to me. Is that all there was upstairs? I think it might have been. It didn't look good. I mean, it didn't look good for him, but he's the enemy, right? Take the balls for drinking out of a pack of duct tape I'll always take. This that just goes to the roof, doesn't it, if I remember? Alright, do I save while I'm here? I'm doing it. Peckish from a lack of food. We can deal with that. It didn't look good, it looked bloody great. <laughs> okay. I've saved, I've banked all that progress. Uh, what are we having for lunch? Mutt chops. Properly fed and purified water. I'm actually low on water. I'm about to go speak to that bald kid in Diamond Sea. Whatever his name is, Scratch or whatever it was. Right, that was huge, and now I'm a lot harder to detect while sneaking, which is going to come in handy for the rest of the jobs today, which include going deeper and deeper into the city. One, to clear out a building of undesirables, according to whatever the guy that's in charge of that stuff for the Brotherhood, and another one is to go into a comic shop. I need to pick one, don't I? Somebody pick comics or murder. Comics or murder. I need you people to make the decision for me. Kitten says murder. Uh, cleansing the Commonwealth. So I'm, I'm clearing out the comic shop. We're going to get a reflex capacitor. So we're going to the comic shop, kid. Some might argue you've picked wisely. So this is one of the um, one of the missions from the Brotherhood. I think they're repeat, not repeatable. I think they're like. I think there's loads of them, and they're just something you can do as an activity, but they are good for XP, especially if I get Idiot Savant to proc on the hand in. Just say it like I'm a southern... Uh, I'd just like to say it like a southern bell. What? Murder? As in there's been a murder, and fan yourself while sat on the back of a horse with both legs over one side. And it's still a beautiful day. Is Boston necessarily that, or New England necessarily, necessarily that mountainous? Trim. Trim, no. Stop quoting everything. Why is that building? Look at that place. Alright, I've never been in this direction before, so bear with me. If I uh, if I act kind of nervous, hardcore playthrough, hardcore playthrough, hardcore playthrough. Anything in that direction? So where I'm going now is there. Maybe I go across the waterfront and then cut in south, so I'm not snaking my way through what is potentially a bunch of enemies. Oh, 
not. Oh, that was in the It's just a lamppost. What I need to be aware of is getting swarmed by ghouls at any point. Because there could be absolutely anything in this major city. I'm not here. I thought you were back, Trim. Yeah, I'm tired. I didn't need that. I don't like all the noises this game's... Okay, a wild dog. Is he on his own? Seems like he is. Well, there might be another one. There is. There's two. Okay, that's fine. We can just... Right, there was raiders to the left and the dogs pulled the raiders out. I've taken a hit in today's stream. There was two raiders, one male, one female, judging by the sounds. I've taken a hit already. Luckily it was a tiny one. There you go, look, Sofa. If it was a case of crits, dogs like this, I know there's different types of dogs, but that dog did that tiny bit of damage. Those, the legendary super mutant hound did maybe, what, three or four times more than that. And a Rottweiler, a single non-legendary Rottweiler, one-shot me. I don't know where, if there is, I don't know if there is a, I don't know the explanation for the lack of consistency. I mean, Rottweilers are hardcore, but are they as hardcore as a legendary super mutated um, turbo hound? I don't think I've ever used that one perk, the Savant one. I may need to check it out. It's good. It's fun. I'll give it that. Okay, where are these raiders? There's one. Do I want to aggro them? I need the XP, don't I? <laughs> okay, it turns out. Do you know why I think Idiot Savant's, is, Idiot Savant's proccing like crazy? I've got two pieces of gear that increase luck. Look, Lucky Girded at plus two and Lucky Synth Left Arm plus two, which puts my luck at ten. So maybe with high luck, low intelligence, Idiot Savant is just a levelling machine. Maybe you got lucky and it hit a main artery. I mean, we was having that discussion as well yesterday, saying, I, it, like, it might be where I got hit and... <clears throat> Bloody hell, I'm strong. Stronger than Giant right there. It was him, all right. Yeah, um, it might be because I got hit in the face or something, or turning your back to dogs is a good... Oh, somebody's killed a trader. By the way, this city looks ace. Big green turbo hankin. Down the street. I don't like whatever that creaking sound is. It feels like the city's going to fall down. Oh, lovely. You're very welcoming. Alright. I've killed a person and some dogs. Shinely's Oyster Bar. Shut my... That's got to be a raider camp, right? Yep. A raider or a gunner. Raider. If I'm in stealth and they can't see me, then that's their problem. What? So I'm keeping an eye on those mutant freaks over at Trinity, and this guy comes out of nowhere sprinting down the road. I know he must have seen him standing there from way down the street, but he didn't slow down or even duck into one of the alleys. What the hell? What'd they do to him? Who's talking? Hounds must have ripped him to shreds. By the way, this guy ain't got nothing on him. Like ten caps and a death fan? Who carries around a death fan? Ah, Me. Damn. Anyway, they didn't do nothing to the guy. I think okay, I'm not going that way. As confused as I was. Get this: the guy was making sounds. What do you mean? Was he screaming or something? Not really. It was almost like he was making motorcycle sounds, like he was pretending he was riding one or something. He was even making gear shifting noises and everything. So what? Did 
they just let him drive right by? <laughs> yeah, but he didn't just drive by. How loud are these people bad, talking? But didn't seem to take anything out until he pulled his hand toward his mouth like he was biting something. Then it looked like he threw it into the Trinity lock. What the fuck? What was it? What did he throw? Nothing. I think he was acting like he threw a grenade at him or something. A second or two later, as he drove his bike down the road, he made a loud boom sound, as if the grenade he had just thrown had exploded. <laughs> Are you serious? What a fucking whack job. Whoa, whoa! I think this guy's still moving. What is it? I, I'm... Now I'm in caution. Now I'm in danger. That turned so quickly. Okay, I'm dropping out of danger. Just get distance. I'm so fucking scared of everything. Oh, man, come back. I was having fun. The city is dangerous. Team 1, have you got any faith? Please tell me you have, because I'm losing it rapidly as we speak. No sign of them now. Do they have turrets and everything? Why is there a swan on my waypoint? Team 2's feeling good. Don't look at me like that, I'll carry on, I need faith. Okay, there's a lot of radiation. We're alright, we're fine. Worst things could happen. Here we go, we've reached the comics place, where is it? To my right, apparently. Am I safe? It's a tiny little townhouse building, look. Okay. Everything else seems fine. It's good, it's good. Let me just take a minute to relax. I have faith in youth tabula. You can do this. Trim. Trim. Please stop embarrassing Siri in front of the world. I just completely forgot what that I just picked up. What was it? What was it? Scavenger's lead. Check out Hubris Comics at Newbury Street. Star on the ground floor ought to be easy pickings. I am. I'm right here now. Piss off, Twim. Quimblade, welcome to the street, but thank you for the bits. Stop encouraging him. If you never watch an apocalypse movie, cities are bad. Yeah. Shut up, shut up, shut up. And bother. I'm in trouble already. Yeah, big trouble. Leave, 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 leave. I can't leave. Oh, oh. Please don't follow me out. Please don't follow me out. That fucking monkey came alive. If they follow me out, I'm in really big trouble. Where can I run to? Back down the alley I was in. Was there a car? Maybe. I could take Psycho and just turn around and unload on him. Why are you taking so long to load? Oh, this is agonising. I'm going to have to be quick when it loads. What? Tell me I've not got stuck. This is about ten times longer than it usually takes to load. Okay, I'm dead. I might be able to survive, I might be able to survive, I might be able to survive. Pop a stim pack and run, 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 run faster, run faster. It's fine, you're not dead yet. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to pop a Psycho and a Medex and a Jet. And I'm going to drink water to get my that back up, and we're going to turn around and we're going to fucking win this. <laughs> that may have just so a little bit of overkill, maybe. But... Did I survive the encounter? 
Holy shit. Once I ran around here and saw there was no, like, cars in an immediate area that I could get on, I had to. Alright. That, boys and girls, is the power of drugs. In Fallout. It's fine, we're alright. We're alive, though, aren't we? Jesus Christ. This place is going to be chaos. Right, I need to use the door tactic. And am I right in thinking that the monkey came alive and aggroed everything? I like that I've got Idiot Savant as well on there. I need to remember... What? Come on, load at a reasonable time this time. I was immediately in contact. I had absolutely no option there. The comic book nerds are attacking if I die in a comic book shop. Why does it take so long to load on the way out of fucking hubris comics? It usually takes like... Three seconds maximum, and now we're sat. Cause it... Yeah, but not my murder, I'm hoping, kitten. And I've got Medex active, haven't I? It's got to load in all my mates. Stuck. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. And that is the end of the. And then there was none, welcome princess. I'm both happy and sad because hello prettiest princess in the world. <sighs> That's bullshit in my opinion. I aren't happy with the state of the death, but can I really argue that one very much? I couldn't move, I couldn't leave, I couldn't get out of the way because they spawned a few inches ahead of me. Don't think you can argue that. So I suppose I just walked through a door with an unwinnable situation. You were stuck, but had you not panicked, could you have gotten around? Uh, I don't know. I think because the, pelmet of the, the top of the door above me I couldn't get up, and they all spawned in like a nice circle around me to stop me from being able to move. I went left, I went right, I tried to go over. Oh! I'm a pretty princess. Should I go over to Discord? Alright, here I come. Bear with me a second. Bear with me one second. I never change my own name, so I don't know how to do it. How do you do it? I can't actually do it while streaming. It locks me from doing it while streaming because I'm in streamer mode. Hang on a minute, I'll fix this. Yeah, it won't let me, because you, it doesn't let you open your server profile or anything while you're in... Yeah. Well, I'll be a princess after, but while OBS is open, it won't let you do it just in case you accidentally reveal some important information. Turn off streamer mode. Can you turn streamer mode back on? In fact, if I'm off streamer mode, let me go like this. Then like this, then like this. I don't know if you can like manually enable streamer mode.
There we go. User settings, scroll down, click streamer mode, toggle it on and off. Is streamer mode on there? I hated it. I love streamer mode. I think it's brilliant. Settings, app settings, streamer mode is on there. Oh yeah, streamer mode. Enable. Yeah, I think I think streamer mode is cool. I got it, Trim. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's back on. Why do you need it? We already see enough of you. What? I need streamer mode. It's not. It, it just means that it disables everything that um, OBS. Sorry, that Discord does, including notifications and everything, so that. It just it, when OBS is open, it just silences absolutely everything, and then it unsilences it when you turn it off. It's great. Oh, I'm, this is annoying. Princess Stubbler is being crowned. Jam wedge. I walked out of a door to Hubris Comics, and I got surrounded by enemies to the point where I couldn't leave and just killed. It's over. It's done. I am a pretty princess. Fuck! Now, if I could use the Sothan thing and remove a chop, would that <laughs> would that count? Yeah. I essentially, I walked into a building that aggroed all the enemies. I walked out, managed to kill a bunch of them that followed me out. And then trying to get in, I walked into a situation where I was automatically... Aggroed everything, and then when I went out, I was I couldn't I I got locked in and couldn't move. I got stuck in an unwinnable position. And that's what I was wondering about. Ten more chops, and you have to wear a dress in a crowd on stream. No. Fuck. I was so close as well. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Well, I guess the pressure's off slightly, and I can just play the game, but. I don't want to be a pretty princess in Discord this whole time. <sighs> Money, please. Team 2, do you want your payout now? Are you that desperate? Fine. Alright, Team 1. Put 43,000 channel points into this and Kitten with a 12 grand of her own. Trim put 35,000 channel points on Team 2, and he was correct. Team 2, congratulations. Bastards. Bastards, bastards, bastards. Honestly, it was worth it. So close with 20 hours put into a 2,000 hour game. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. What is this, like the 14th stream or something? So I, I put 20 odd, I don't know. No, I put 30, 45 hours in. The fucking challenge lasted 45 hours. That's not bad. Oh shit, why is the super mutes here for? I also just don't want to die a bunch now. So what we're going to do going forward, even though the part, my part has failed, <laughs> we're still going to do predictions for every stream. Um, and double marbles for death streams. Deal? I said I wouldn't because I was worried about the points economy, but fuck it, right? Can take a bag of cement as well, it's probably heavy. Pay me, I put 7k and got 13 back. I still don't think I'd break even for all the predictions you've paid into. <sighs> Is he fucking streaming and he's heard about it and come back in? Doom hard chopped, 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 chicky giggle right, back to farming, just came to laugh at you. Bye. Everybody, you might as well go watch Cheeky stream at this point. He's evidently won. Cheeky, I hope all your crops grow wonky. Thank you for the bit. <laughs> ah! News travels fast in this dirty little doom house sphere, doesn't it? Thanks, Alkerion. Thanks a bunch. Right. I'm, what if I don't die for the entire rest of the game? You know? Put 205k now on 237. 
Don't be like watching. Okay, there's some super mutants up there. I'm assuming I've got them all. I could go back to controller now. Because part of the reason I was doing this is because it was not only good for my back, but it was easier on mouse and keyboard. I will. What? I'll beat the whole game. Okay. Or I will go back to control. See, there's the raiders that I fought before. Am I allowed to be a bit more reckless now? Yeah, be more reckless if we go run and die. Right. I'm not going to walk down that same alley that I walked down previously. There's the dogs. We're just going to deal with these nice and smooth. By nice and smooth, I mean don't kill them in one hit for some reason. Kill that one, and we'll go for the headshots on this one. You're dead. Hit. Nice. I'm gonna die. Oh shit, it's three. There was not three before. And I can't shoot that one, can I? You can't get to me though, can you? Dead. Lovely. Alright. Maybe my goal now is to take over the entirety of Boston in the name of the Pretty Princess. Fuck this town for what it's done to me in my um, name in Discord. Fuck the super mutants. Fuck the um, animals. The raiders. The gunners. And everybody in between. I'm going to take over this fucking town now. Started all these predictions with 100,000 channel points. This final win, I have a whopping 9.7. <laughs> you did say, Alkirion, that we hadn't done predictions in a while when we was playing My Summer Car. Predictions are plenty now. Sothan, how do you feel about the whole tactic of um, doing predictions again? Trip. Down to 750 points. What, 1,750,000? How much is blue? Okay, this is that alleyway. I remember this one now. I'm actually in danger. That's fine. Don't need these. Oh, I don't want to be a pretty prince. Why was Han Solo so suspicious when he put his penis inside Princess Leia for the first time? It was lukewarm. <laughs> Fuck you know. <clears throat> Thank you, Santa. Right, here's what I need to do before I go back into uh, Hubris Comics. I need to clear the fucking area and pick a place to retreat to. Like, if I go up there, this, the ghouls can't get to me, can they? But I have no option if I run out. If I get in that situation again, I just die again. But I need it to know the area's clear before I start fucking about too much. Yeah, these have been good today, Sandra. I'll give you that. I do like the idea of you being able to remove a chop if for no other reason than it elongates the tension. Well, I still want Team 1 to thrive, of course. All right. Fuck this place. Right? Just absolutely fuck this place. Take all this again. Now, if I go in, I need to immediately deal with that dickhead monkey. Just better subject to choose from. Do you know how hard it is to find a subject of a joke based on this prick street tale? <laughs> that makes me think of going a bit more obscure. Right, you die. Does that wake up the... Cats, welcome to the stream. I, I fear you feel you've heard the good news. Am I going to get stuck and killed again? You've got Maverick. Oh, I had to kill the the monkey statue, right? Because that's the thing that woke the ghouls up in the first place. Oh, cats. Good afternoon. 
That's something I am dead keen on. So am I going to get cornered and killed again? There was one behind me. Did you hear it? Could you not hear a super a ghoul then? Has the ghoul got stuck on some... Wait, what if the ghoul's actually stuck on something? It is. Is it stuck on the same shit? I... If there's a set amount of spawn points on the way out of that door... What are you thinking, everybody? What are you thinking? <clears throat> what if your dearest pretty princess maybe got the same unlucky spawn point that this ghoul did? <laughs> I probably can't prove it, no. But if it is, then that wasn't a death of mis from misadventure. Has anybody got a clip of the death? Because I'm kind of interested. So if I walk out of that door, you clip you you clip into other enemies, right? I oh, not clip into them, but the, the clipping means that you can't stand in the same position as an enemy. You can't share the same location, right? So if there if I came out with three or four ghouls again, then it may be forced a few people into the walls, and I might be one of them. There was one blocking my way, sort of thing, yeah. But still, I'm not going to try and take the chop away. I'm just... Unless we could 100% prove it. Oh, I don't know. Trouble is, now the ghoul's trapped in the wall and I can't kill it and can't get back into hidden. Hmm. Well, if you did clip into the wall, you should get that get the chop back. Let me have a look. Let me go have a look. Okay, this is a weird stream, I acknowledge. I'm stopping in the VOD, bear with me. I'm interested. <clears throat> so if I go watch the VOD back now... Did anybody actually get a clip of it? Because if there was a clip, that I don't, probably not right, because we're all busy celebrating. It's not like you won't die again at some point, princess. So when I came out of the door... I get pushed to the left. It's hard to tell from the VOD. When I come out of the door, the super mutes rush me. I'll put the VOD in uh, timestamped in Discord for you if you want to see it. So for those that want to watch what happened in Discord, it's there now. There's the link. You see me, like, walk out of the door, nudge into the the, the ghouls and get, like, pushed in stages left towards here. And then I can no longer walk forwards nor jump. But I, I can't prove it, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to go down that path. Okay, let's go back in. This is going to be full of active ghouls again, so I might end up in the same situation, but we'll test it. Okay, I've got Feral there. Is there any other... I can't get a good shot. Maybe on the right arm on that one. That one's down, and... That missed. So we'll go like that. That one's dead. You do look quite far to the left when you fall. Yeah, it's inconclusive in my mind. We've got one there. I've not got fucking AP. Let's see if it happens again. Also, this is... What are you supposed to do in this situation? Bip a few and then leave. This is tricky. It's interesting, Janwidge, right? I don't know whether I got pushed in... If I, can't, I might not be able to repeat the same bug now. If it was a bug. But either way... I'm still largely at fault for it, I don't know. 
But this is maybe more controversial than all the others. I need a neutral to come. <laughs> yeah. Can anybody here claim to be a neutral in any way on this topic? Trim over here. Right. See, I could move there because I was to the right. Not that I had much of a chance of doing anything about it. And I fucking died again. Is this... Is killing these in here actually possible? Okay. This stream's got off the rails. Have we hit a bit of a Bethesda situation all of a sudden? And should I maybe not be going into this place? Oh. oh, now I'm all the way back here. Like, what would be the tactic going in there? Because I don't have... Keep smashing your head into it until it works. I mean, righteous authority is not going to do anything for me, I don't think, is it? Can't see it going wrong for much longer. Yes, you can, and you're banking on it. I know you are. Oh, that's annoying. So I've got to go in and I've got to engage the fight again. I wonder if throwing Molotovs like crazy would be a thing. Have you seen the VOD, though? I don't know what to say. Surely there's a way that this is doable. Maybe you just, like, pop one and then go back out while you're still in caution. Was there not a point where, prior to the playthrough, one of the many people who no, no doubt know more about the difficulty level and the death probability could have advised you to make the death count something more meaningful. I think they just wanted to see it. Um, they just wanted to see it fail, which I get. But I don't know if things like this are like... I don't know. I Like... I could have moved there, but the, it's just the design of this, isn't it, that I think's the issue. Ten death challenge means nothing changes after ten deaths. Then I'm the, the whole idea, twelve, and welcome to the stream, was that if I fail the challenge, I have to be called Pretty Princess Stubbler in Discord for a month. That was the beginning of the whole challenge. I was going to play the game through regardless, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, there's a super mutant up there that I've ignored, isn't there? Yeah, that was always the stakes. And now I am called Pretty Princess Stuller in Discord. Okay, okay, okay. I'm frazzled now. I don't use Discord much, it's Team Tech. <laughs> Team Tech. I can't believe, I can't wait for the end of this when you have 60 deaths and we can sit and laugh at you thinking you could do this in 10. I could maybe do a large portion of the game in 10, but just not hubris fucking comics. Then again, that is the name of the place, right? Me think the hubris means exactly that. This morning, my wife saved me from choking to death on a custard cream biscuit. The fat cunt had eaten them all. Oh, I see. That took me a minute. Okay, we're going back in. Every ten deaths is an extra month of Pretty Princess. I mean, it's up to you lot to suggest a potential challenge going forward. Take a flip light at that. Oh, that stings so badly, though. It hurts. If you get 20 deaths, then we kiss. I'm not touching you again. So here's the thing. I can't survive by staying in. And I can't survive by running out. I wonder if I... Oh, I keep walking down this fucking alleyway. I wonder if I do this. I walk in. Pop jet. Or maybe pop a stealth boy. It seems to be the only solution to getting through this problem. Or... No, because I can't get out, can I? 
I was going to say, if I can get out and run to the right, I can run the ghouls past that turret, but I can't. you can't move when you get out. Hmm. I really think the bar to remove it should be pretty low, like two deathless streams, but it goes straight back on if you die. Maybe, yeah. Not with tongues. But then again, that wasn't the original challenge, Gwynblade, I suppose. And if somebody was to say that you're just going back on it and trying to, like, rule lawyer your way out of the punishment, then I would... They would be legitimate to say that, right? It would be a legitimate criticism, I suppose. Okay. Life lesson here. If it's hard, do drugs. There is definitely some weird stuff going on with the new hardware in this game. How is a comic nerd the same as Stubbler? They both have back issues. <laughs> it's like the loading screens are locked to frame rate, but the game is running normally underneath, so enemies can all spawn outside and exit and ambush you. Yeah, I'm not... I don't... I don't know whether that's intended, though, you're right. Or whether it's an issue of something. Right, where are these ghouls? There's one there. If I kill him, do the others awake? Yes. That's two killed. Three killed. Four killed. I'm popping jet if more than... Five killed. Ow. Fuck it, crit. I haven't got a crit. Kill it. Any more? I mean, that's good. Another one's dead. Have I got enough AP for another shot? Ow. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I was doing quite well there, but if I'd have left, that, that guy would have killed me anyway. This is just going to keep going up. I need a shotgun, I know. It's about keeping it interesting. These assholes will be bored of it in two days. <laughs> you don't know them. Stop judging them correctly. Yeah, all right, this is this is fucked. I don't know. A shotgun, though, trim, I'd shoot them and kill them, and then I'd be reloading and get killed. And if I tried to go outside, I'd get killed again. This is the door. Maybe play better then. All right, Siddles. Megaton hair. I would have been the heir to Megaton. But everybody suggested I blow it up. I'm so disheartened. Imagine using grenades. I mean, you've watched what happened when I've used grenades in the past, right, 12? The blast radius on grenades in this game. It's killed me every single time, pretty much. Maybe a grenade right in the very back of the shop. But I have a feeling that would just aggro the entire building. This is the pain and suffering I signed up for right through. <laughs> I've killed that super mutant about 15 times. Alright, what's the tactic this time? Then again, I probably shouldn't be just letting this get out of control, should I? Stealth Boy would be the answer. Mines would definitely blow me up. The blast radius on mines, if I put one anywhere in that room, it'd kill me. I can't put mines outside, because they spawn outside before I do, so I'm already getting hit when I go through. If I pop a Stealth Boy, it might help me until they come wandering over to where I was, and then I die anyway. Maybe it's Stealth Boy and leave the building. I 
I think that what Jamwedge was saying though, 12, is that because of the loading screens, the ghouls have enough time to get to the door and then they spawn with me as I leave. That was the tenth death. I left the building, I left the door, and all the ghouls in the whole room had caught up to the door and loaded out with me. I haven't. I can't place the mines though. Twelve. If like any a mine anywhere in that room, and I die, right? Um. Yeah. So then I'm trying to work out whether this quest is actually possible, and it's proving not very easy. If I put a mine, if I put mines anywhere in the room, I die, right? Unless they're like right at the very far back. If I try and put mines anywhere else around the door or anything, I was saying to Trim, uh, so then shotguns wouldn't help at all. A combat shotgun with a few rounds in it, maybe, but while I'm reloading, they'll just slap me to death. He's dragging himself through the encampment. Well, I was just, before we started talking, right? I was saying maybe I don't do this and I go to Trinity Plaza. The VOD is hard to tell where the fault lies as well, so then. But I'm not removing it. Right, Hubris Comics. I just I wanna I wanna just prove whether it's doable. Because if I if I what leave, did I miss Crobler? You missed three my, three all in the same exact area. One I clipped into the wall, another one I just got swarmed at the door. Maybe there's a different door, so you don't have to walk into an ambush. Maybe. Fucking hell. Martin, don't ever go in hubris comics in this game on survival difficulty. Let's pop. A, a new cola quantum. So that gets rid of some of my caffeine. The only thing I recall about this game is that I got tired of it in the story, so if I say something that's a spoiler, please consider I didn't realise. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen me do it on screen, just assume I don't know about it. Yeah, Martin, don't ever go in here. It's simply not worth it. Oh, I just wish it was a good, clean death. You know what I mean? I wish it was like a... something that we, that we could all rally around and understand. However, Trinity Plaza was the next place I need to go to. I mean, is there a different door? Could be. A... Oh no, you got you got twelve out of that. I fully understand. I got you, you got this, Anna. Show me so I know for sure. No, no, I'm bored of dying. <laughs> I'm a pretty princess now. I'll take my lumps. Another door isn't the worst idea. Though. Is this Trinity Plaza? Trinity Plaza's down there, which I need to clean out. Is it that church? It might be. Yeah, I, I, even with this, like, uh, if the combat shotgun has six shots in it, so then I'd die, I'd die reloading. Let's clear these raiders out, so I've got a bit of somewhere to go. So when you walk through, Martin, there's immediately one of the, you know, the monkeys that clap the things and alert the whole building. It alerts every ghoul there is. They all come crawling out the ceiling, crawling out the walls, and they come towards you. So I turned around and walked out, but they all followed me out and trapped me in the doorway so I couldn't move. And we're not, we're, we're, as of yet, can't think of a solution to it. Right, where's the rest of these raiders? They've laid mines. Fucking mannequins. So if I pick these raiders off, we can get a bit of XP. Look, raiders in town don't even die to a 3.2 times uh, multiplier headshot from a sniper, from my current sniper rifle. Which could not be more proof that I need to upgrade it. Right, if she pokes her head back up across, uh, above there, I'll go for it. 
Hey, 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 Martin, welcome to the stream. Are you home yet or no? Where have you even been? Slid. I really want to. I want... I, I can't let this hubris comics beat me. And I feel like I'm letting it beat me at the moment. What do you think I do? Walk in, pop jet, as many headshots as possible. Because if I get hit once, I just die. Let me eat and drink. I know, Southern, I know, but... But still... Karate chop. You've already hit ten and lost the bet. There's nothing else to lose in trying. He's right. He's right. He's right. Is Jet the answer, do you think? Maybe. Maybe if I go... Monkey. Ghoul. Ghoul. Out the door. Then leave it for a while. Maybe the ghouls will go back to a settled position. We can go to Trinity Plaza and start clearing. And let them settle. I've got two Santa here, we've got these. This has got 24 shots. That one's dead, that one's not awake yet. Now leave, because I'm in caution. I was in caution, not in danger. Maybe. Dragon Crusade, welcome to the stream. Nope, nope, just been hit by good old ghouls. And loads of them. Right, so now I was in caution, the fact that this loading... I wonder if the length of the loading screen is affecting... Like Jamwedge was saying, spawn positionings when you come out. Right, I'm in caution, but not in danger. Another thing, so then, when I walked out, a, z a ghoul walked out with me and got trapped in that wall. Exactly where I died the first time. Which is leading us to maybe think that I could have suffered the same fate. Clapping monkeys feel victimised. Not played it in it? Yeah, I've, well, I'm playing it for the very first time. And, uh, I was challenged to beat the whole thing on survival difficulty in 10 deaths or less, and I've just this second failed in the last 20 minutes. Right, five minutes to go until the midstream break. I'm back in hidden. If I go back in now, in my stealth gear, in stealth, surely I can go back in and I remain in hidden. Yeah? No spoilers from me. I appreciate it. No, straight to danger. What the hell is anybody supposed to do on this difficulty in that situation? No? I, if I'm too low of a level, then why did I get given the quest? See what I mean, Martin? That's why you shouldn't go inside that room, ever. I was in stealth, hidden, immediately in danger, slapped down in two or three hits. Maybe I should make sure to hit the chop button, yeah. Oh shit. Which immediately tabbed out the game. Ah. Uh, I mean, I've just got to take my lumps, right? Ooh, a Chris Man played you good. Chris Man played me good. Pieces, you nerd, ghoul, karate, chop, do march up. Absolutely. Why, what's Chris Man done? Is Chris Man also streaming and mocking me like cheeky? <laughs> I don't blame him. Let me do this. 
So just laid down, yeah, doing doing a lot of dying all of a sudden, kitten. Alright, alright, alright. It was his bet. No, I don't think Chris Man bet me, no? My idea. The ten deaths thing. No, I went away for 20 minutes and come back to three more. Yeah, I think we're just learning, kitten, that that room, it's just, it's not possible. Unless I had, like, crazy high damage resistance or something, I think it's just, I don't know. Anyway, what I'm going to do, we'll go for the other quest, but it's mystery and break time now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to plug the controller in, because I enjoy playing on controller more. And then we'll just... We'll rethink our strategy, I think. Oh, I'm so annoyed. You and Chrisman had a right left saying it's very unlike. Yes, definitely. And you wouldn't be wrong. But you've got to go in there and try these things, right? <laughs> you probably disagree. Okay, midstream break. Right, you want to listen to Diamond City Radio, or classical radio? And Diamond City. Listen to Sky. It's all over, it says. Is the f For this game, two minutes. The dreaming Poor little dream That keep trying to come true It's all over But the cry and I can't get over crying over you. To try Gentilian 222 Novum Gentilian 222 Octovi Gentilian 222 Septvi Gentilian 222 Sexva Gentilian 222 Quinva Gentilian 222 Quartovi Gentilian 222 Trevi Gentilian 222 Duovi Gentilian 222 Unvi Gentilian 222 22 Vigent Ilian 222 Novem Decilian 222 Octo Decilian 222 Septem Decilian 222 Sex Decilian 222 Quint Decilian 222 Quartuor Decilian 222 Tree Decilian 222 Duo Decilian 222 Undecilian 222 Decilian 222 Nonilian 222 Octilian 222 Septilian 222 Sextilian 222 Quintilian 222 Quadrillion 222 Trillion 222 Billion 222 22 million two hundred and twenty two thousand two hundred and twenty two Commonwealth weaponry it's a dangerous world frailty thy name is Tabula I have failed oh am I pretty now I died from a gentle ghoul slap it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry, everybody. <laughs> Do I keep the chop counter on, though, or, should, or can we get rid of it now? Now it's finally happened. Santa, thank you for the bits. Martin, thank you for the bits. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. Do we keep the chop counter on and let it go up? Keep it, of course. It's this trip. Okay. Right. It's time for the rest of the playthrough. I am ignoring... 
hubris comics for now. We're going to go and clear out the Trinity Plaza area. And I'm going to level up like I said I was going to. And we're going to get to fucking... We're going to get to level 25. We're going to upgrade and get a fancy sniper rifle. And we're going to get on with the rest of the game. Keep it. It'll be interesting how many times... How many you get by the end of the playthrough. Yeah, for the record, I have died more. See? Martin's played this game a million times and he's died more than I have. What's in this can, everybody? I was just thinking, kitten, you know. What if... I made a list of everybody's full playthrough chop guesses. And you got three points for being closest at the end of the playthrough. Starting tomorrow, maybe? Not chop guesses in that sense. Well, not normal chop guesses, but what do you reckon? Taste of defeat while getting fitted for a crown and a dress, says Alkirion. Pepsi Max says Martin. Cream Soda says Kitten. Cloudy Lemonade says Sothan. Lemonade says Dougie. First, what is a comp... Well, I don't know. Okay, let's go to Trinity Plaza anyway. That's what we're going to do next. Quests. So it would be... Quarter Mastery. We are recovering a reflex capacitor. End of the playthrough, so... And I'll commit to doing the DLC... So don't make your guesses just now. Or do, Santa. <laughs> your call. 64. Yeah, don't make your guesses... I'll keep, think about your guesses and I'll, I'll maybe think about setting that up over the weekend at some point. And you can have three points if you get closest. Right, this is the mission that we're embarking on right now. Scribe Halen from the Brotherhood of Steel has given me a mission to recover a piece of technology for her at a given location. I need to go there, find the artifact, and bring it back to her in one piece. I will. Right, Trinity Pepsi Plaza. Max Cherry. I just realised I've not opened OBS in the actual proper settings that I have been doing recently for the sake of it not lagging. So hopefully, let me know if it stutters a bit too much and I'll, I can fix it. But it'll take me turning the stream off and turning it back on again. Right. I have my number low. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, it'll be over the weekend at some point. So three points seems about right to me. I'll take the oil as well. Okay, let's, I don't know why. I feel like I was in too hesitant a mood earlier. And I've evidently paid the price for it. Yeah, I think I might do all DLC. Jam Wedge says Fizzy Orange. I'll take a flip lighter as well. Absolutely. Okay, I'm switching over back to controller. Three feels good. Right, Righteous Authority I wanted on... Up. Then I want Suppressed. I want the pistol on... Left. And I want the sniper rifle on right. And then it's stim packs on down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five points if the guess is exact. Oh, that's not bad. If you guess it exactly right, five points. But if you're just the closest, then only three. Individual, well, individual and team points, kid, yeah, but. Hmm. I'll do the hubris challenge, hubris comics, no deaths. I'll do it with, uh, with a referee in the Doom House channel. No, you're good, Martin, you're good. We'll trust you if you've done it. I mean, if you get a point, the team gets a point. Always, kitten, so it'll always be team points. So if you'll get three individual points and five if you get it exact. Kill that dog and then retreat around the corner. Can the entries be secret? No, 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 no. Okay, that's aggro the dogs, which has got the raiders on the dogs. The answer, everybody, was... 
Pepsi Max Cherry. So unfortunately, Martin takes a chop, but Santa's got it right. This does favour people who have played the game, though, right? Because they know of certain dangerous object uh, areas or whatever. Called it Taste of Defeat equals any Pepsi. Not really true, no, but... This will be... I might do them anonymously. I'll anonymously would be quite fun. Is that dog dead? It didn't survive. Because you seem to be dying to nonsense. Yeah, well, we'll do the same thing. So, like, bugs and stuff don't count. Like, bu like bugs, chops, etc. don't count. Got to admit, I never had that issue with the comic book store getting swarmed until maybe well into it. Strange, right? And I am super duper in stealth as well. Nah, no bugs, true. It, I like chop. The, the the only thing I like about chops is because it it forces me to play well. And if there's some daft bugged thing that isn't because of it isn't my fault, then it doesn't feel it, it feels like one percent as fun as a real chop. Uh, I need to eat and drink again, don't I? Roasted Milo meat that should get me properly fed. And I didn't mean to pop Psycho. That was a mistake. Purified water. Pop the oh, bring it. <laughs> I'm not even in combat. I'm not bringing shit. Right, slowly approach. I think Trinity Plaza is actually that big churchy building. To be honest, I can make a more educated guess, but those areas that, that are hard in base game turned out easier, but easy areas are being hard. Yeah, survive. I mean, somebody that's good at survival, I suppose. Then you're right. Am I safe? Trinity Plaza's up here. That's that dead Brahmin. I wonder if... Could be our survival level. Never played it on survival, yeah. Not you, then. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bring it, please. Don't they know it's the end of the world, kitten? It ended when you said goodbye. Don't they know it's the end of the world? It ended when they said goodbye. If you was to put that in the lyrics. You'd get the answer. I don't know who sings it. Actually, he was probably about to tell me. Skeeter Davis, a name I still find confusing. Skeeter Davis sings it, apparently. <laughs> okay. Trinity Plaza. All right, so this is where I was coming. I wonder if it's like rank two Brotherhood missions that are really difficult, so you get absolutely shagged when you walk into the building. Who's that guy? Harry would know. Oh, you are a beautiful game, even though you've punished me, sir. I see, kidneys. Right, Trinity Church. I need to clear out everything there is in here. And it's Super Mutants, of course it is. Jesus, serious Super Mutants. Dogs. A legendary version of one of these things does less damage than a Rottweiler. Butcher. It was a statue of Einstein, he's the guy that built the pyramids. Okay, let me rest in here for a second. I'm assuming the only way they can get to me is via that entrance. If I'm Corvega easy in the base game, it's done me in on survival. Corvega? Oh, survival is, yeah, it's absolutely a level up on every instance, right? Trim, can you stop chopping me for five seconds? I've had enough of them today. You soon, no, you're not. I'm taking a long time to come out of caution, by the way. If I can still get a line of sight on the butcher, he's got a. Has he got a fucking minigun? Oh, I nearly killed him. Alright, butcher. I see you. I'm not dying again today. Or ever again in this fucking playthrough. So, do you fancy doing that then? Chops. For the whole playthrough. I'm already a pretty princess, there's no coming back from that. 
I am absolutely chopping through these guys. How come you're suddenly in Castle Wolfenstein? <laughs> the other quest that I was going to do today, Gunblade, was to go and um, clear out the Trinity Plaza church. But it does feel a bit like that. Where's the butcher? The butcher's like on one hit. There's a hole in areas. Okay, yeah, this place is. Look at that. I don't know open this door in case it exposes me to something. Like trims nudes. Church toilets. Or is this the confession booth? Alright, we'll do that then. Over the weekend, I'll let you all know when. And I will take, and I think Martin's idea of doing it anonymously is the right one. Over the course of the next few days, I will take anonymous guesses for how many times I die throughout the course of the entire playthrough. And if you get it right bang on, you get five points. And if you're just merely the closest, you get three. Deal? There's the butcher. Okay, he's finally dead. Imagine getting five points in your lap all of a sudden. Yeah, what should the window be? Maybe a week? Because if it's anonymous, then we can do it over a week, right? And if so, if you guess a number that somebody's already taken, I'll say guess again. So we don't have two on one sheet. And I'll be able to have a list on the screen, won't I? My psycho's finally worn off. I was doing extra damage, which might explain why I did so much damage to that butcher in one hit. We'll do it in Discord or something, Chaz. But don't, nobody do it yet. I'll, I'll open it up maybe, I don't know, Monday or something. I'll get ready for it. Yeah, in the post. <laughs> Where's your nearest pi uh, pigeon? Welcome to the new followers. I'm worried that there's stuff down here that I just can't see. That kind of works as a continued incentive, right, Gwynblith? Did I actually clear this out? Surely I've not cleared it out. In a room with fucking three... Um, ghouls in it is impossible. Yet you can clear out super mutant butchers and all sorts in the next room in one hit. Short automatic pipe rifle. This is the guy with the minigun, isn't it? Yeah. Take the bloke flying meat too. Dangerously close to the old shot. Yeah, well, Mina, uh, Mina. Kitten said chop guessing, and it made me think maybe we don't do that, but we do do a bit of a long term thing. Glow sighted heavy combat rifle. 60 damage. Do I want that? I'll just take the fishing rod and we'll get out of it. What magazine? Astoundingly awesome tills. Now that is a good one. You collected an issue of astoundingly awesome tills. Do five percent damage against super mutants. And some psycho to replace the one I just accidentally took. Why is it saying that this is the area? Is there something in here? Oh the reflex capacitor. It is. Quest complete. Report described Halen. If there's a bedroll in here, that will be very useful. Do I keep going though for loot purposes? Then again, I just want XP, don't I, more than loot? I really want to go and do that Hubris Comics quest. It frustrated me, the very idea of it now. Wait, was the magazine actually good, I don't. I didn't actually look at the picture, I was too busy looking at the fucking... Too busy looking at the uh, the bonus I got from it. God, I'm really bad at lockpicks. Jesus. That's it. Oh, the reflex capacitor, I see. 
Okay, I need, what, one, one more level up, is it? Two more level ups. But I'm not going to get two level ups by looting. I need to be out there shooting. But I think I have cleared the place out, haven't I? And I've got the loot piece that I was in here to get. Are we good? I think we are, and it's just telling me to leave. Easy. Kitten. You know, I tried to prove that jinxing doesn't exist and said in Discord that I'd um, watch this for not jinxing and said I'm not dying today. That's not proof that mystical, magical bullshit exists. Oh shit. I just fell all the way. Please say there's nothing down here that can get me. Don't forget to pick up the Outer World Spaces Choice thing at 4pm on Epic. It's, is it the game itself, Goodblood, or is it some DLC for us? <gasps> oh, are you kidding? If I'd have come here first, I might have had in this, enough to go back home and take a chop off. Oh, I'm so sad. I mean, I can, I suppose, take a chop off with it. But I, whatever happens, I would still have walked into Hubris Comics and died, right? Because that's almost a guaranteed death. Like, what... I don't think I could have got out of that hubris, hubris comic situation if I tried. It is through the entire playthrough, yeah, but I'm just thinking if I'd have... What I meant was, if I'd have found that, I'd have been able to... I'd have been like, ooh, pretty good, and I'd have turned right round and gone straight back up north and took a chop off and at least changed my tactic. But then, as I say, I'd have walked straight back into hubris comics and got slaughtered anyway, wouldn't I? So there's probably not much point to it. Welcome to all the new followers. It's good to meet everybody. But we can still survive the rest of the game. Do I go back to Scribe Hill and hand this quest in now? Oh, it's the game and all the DLC and the new thief as well. That's not bad, actually. I'm going to say, new, yeah, was it Thief 3 was the newest one? How did they reboot that series? Looking back on Outer Worlds, I don't know if I liked it. Like, the first two hours were... 10 out of 10, and then I can't think of a single thing that happened after that in Outer Worlds. The first, like, area is really, really good, and then after that, it just, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't playing it hard enough. We didn't like Fallout before this. True. Yeah, maybe if I went back and played it again. I just kind of, like, trudged through that game. I don't know if anybody else is the same. Might benefit more you. Yeah, maybe. I didn't like the art style um, at all. I didn't like the colour, and I didn't like the... I don't like space travelling games like that either, so there's a few, like, foundational things that just aren't my... Yeah, in... Mass Effect seems to exist in a very specific place where it wasn't trying to be an open world um, it wasn't trying to be an open world RPG was it, it was like a weird like level select thing, whereas trying to have a, a bunch of open world RPGs all f separated out by space slash fast travel, I don't know, it, it felt really it, it didn't have that kind of cohesion that a full map does Sadly, I think Outer Worlds suffered from giving roamable areas that weren't so large. Same issue like the new Beth I suppose that's the same, yeah. Not that it's good or bad, but that it's just not something that I... I don't know, it disconnects me really quick. Getting hungry. Yeah, I finally killed him again. This guy's died so much today. Fucking hell, he had a missile launcher. I've just been nonchalantly messing about with that guy. He had a missile launcher the whole time. Some 38 rounds. Right, I'm going to go back to Diamond City. I'm going to save and I'm going to sell up and I'm going to sort stuff out. 
And then we'll maybe go back to Scribe Hill and see if she's got anything else for us that doesn't involve going into a meat grinder of a comic book shop. I'm sure a good player is watching this right now and thinking I could do that easy. You probably could. But I'm not a good player. It fit you, yeah, it fits you more than the Bethesda. But I think, like, I'd have loved it if it was all in one tighter area. I don't know. He's died more times than you have, yeah. Yeah, exactly. One more time than I have. At least I beat that guy. I had a companion system and companion writing and voice acting a thousand times better. Yeah, I, I, I'm not comparing it to Bethesda in any way. But, yeah. I think you the automatic thing that we all do when we're talking about that game is to start comparing it to Bethesda and the stuff that came before it. But I, just for the record, I am saying it's good or bad in comparison to that. For me, the area you could explore was the wrong size. Yeah, I just didn't care about any of it. I think. Gwimble is maybe right. If I was to go and do another playthrough that's in a bit more stubbler, I might get a bit more out of it, but the very foundational aspects of the design and stuff I didn't like. Could have learnt, lent into the tighter thing. I just like one big open space, I think, in these kind of games. And I fully acknowledge that uh, Obsidian are better at it. Or could be better at it, but the whole just dotting about from planet to planet thing. And there's something about the humour that didn't quite sit with me in that. Hello. Nando, welcome to the stream. What the fuck is your raider doing out here so close to Diamond City? Who are you, friend? A raider psycho, no less. How do you know what I was thinking? Wait, what? Have I tapped into your brain without thinking it, Nando? Nando, good boy. Same thing as you, just having a peep. He was just out looting, is that what he was doing? There's more raiders around. I could have done a smaller or a larger area with more in it, but what I got didn't sit well. Yeah. The first bit, by the way, amazing. The first, like, first planet before you went... The, before you get in a spaceship and leave. That first bit is really, really good. And I was, like, uh, eagerly anticipating the rest of the game, but I just never connected with any of the rest of it. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm reporting that I enjoyed it, not reviewing it. Exactly. exactly. If I've learned anything, it's that every game is made specifically for you, and if you didn't enjoy the game, it's literally Hitler. Exactly. <laughs> that's how it works. And if anything disagrees with your uh, personal feelings on it, then what a bunch of idiots probably should boycott them. The Reddit model. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm going to go back to Diamond City. I'm going to sleep. Just lick my wounds. Yeah, the internet problem, I suppose. What did I say I was going to do when I got back to Diamond City? I can't remember. I had some kind of plan, but now I just return here as a fraud and a failure. Oh yeah, Outer Worlds Museum. Thank you. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. I've been to the mega surgery and he carved my you face up. Finding that mutated burn, man. <sighs> I got hooked up with some sleazy guy. What the one that complimented my pit by Alkyrian. Okay. Watch my look come in now when I actually manage to get this. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Miss? You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Even okay. though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small vice. A quick drink after work. I mean, go ahead. That's fine by me. Why's there a bell? All right, let's go to sleep. Hello. I do. Do you know what? I might help you, actually. All right. Here's your money. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Appreciate it. I will say, Alan Wake 2 is an epic, and that game has legitimate children. It has legitimate, ch illegitimate children. It fucks so hard. 
Let's go for... I kind of want to do some shopping in the morning. I'm going to have to have a long sleep, but this is probably going to make me ill. Yeah. Sir Greyhound, welcome to the stream. Survival has been really fun and really enjoyable. This is my first ever play through the game, by the way. But I will say survival has been really good and really fun. Oh, beautiful. I got away with that. Up until I um, went to Hubris Comics and I've got it stuck in some situation where I am immediately hostile to every single mutant, not mutant, ghoul in there. And I've died like four times today just to that in a very unsatisfying fashion. It's cool though, so I was really good. I, I went and looked Sothan, but I'm not sure. I'm going to be careful what I read just in case anybody actually tells me there is and I don't know it, but maybe. <laughs> you know that's not what it means, Sothan. Wait. I've got a quest with these nerds, haven't I? Let me have a look. This. Speak to Vadim. The owner of the Dugout Inn has asked me to help him improve the confidence of Diamond City Radio's Travis Miles. It does seem a bit weak, doesn't he, on the radio? That's not Vadim, is it? That's the other one. Where's Vadim? Over there. First time and straight into that difficulty. I completed the game eight times before I went onto that difficulty. Balls deep. Hi there. Hello. Uh, no, I'm not interested. I'm just trying to look for your boss. See you later, Jam Wedge. Have a good one. I wish sure there is so I'm fair. Hello. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. Right. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? What does that have to do with anything? I ask because I want you to help Travis win his first bar fight. Think you can do that? I want to stage fight here in Daga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Imagine if I got punched to death in a staged bar fight and got a chop. How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Okay. Where have these people got an accident? They're an accent. I was thinking that the same 12. Their accent would have gone completely, wouldn't it? Over the course of 200 years. And they'd have adapted to the people that they've grown up around over the last 40 or whatever. Unless there is a bridge across the strait from Russia to the US, meaning that he has walked the entire breadth of the continent to get to this point to maintain the accent. I don't know. Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Meet Travis at the dugout in after 6 p.m. I should have asked for payment, shouldn't I? I just realized I didn't. Adim. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Mmm. Not interested. That's too bad. Maybe it's a speech impediment and wear assholes. Oh, Hubris Comics is just in the back of my head now. Right, so I need to be back here after 6. What time is it now? It's 10am. I could sleep a bit more, but I'd risk uh, illness. Tell you what. Let's go do our business. Buy some more ammo and stuff. And we'll go back. I tell you what I might do. I've got the paper to read. I might be in it. Time for a comic book run. 
I don't know what to do about it. Maybe if I get my damage resistance up like through the ceiling, I can go back and we'll go for another hubris comic book run. Oh, that's annoying. Right, uh, I want to sell off some stuff and I need to check if... Is it this guy's got something with a suppressor on it? If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old-fashioned pistol or anything else you need. Let's see what you got. Feel free to test the grips. All right. Arturo, if you have... For me, I've got two grand now, by the way. I get a lot of that. If you have anything that is suppressed, I will be your... That isn't a pipe weapon. Suppressed automatic tactical pipe rifle. I just want a suppressor for something. Oh! He's got nothing else that's of any use. Old Faithful. Double damage if the target is at full health. That is good. Muzzle powerful double barrel shotgun. Yeah, nothing of any real interest to me. Big boy as well, but I don't want a big fat man, do we? Um, protectors left and protectors right. They're not so good. So wrap around goggles and a power armor frame. Sorry, Arturo. That is not what I'm looking for. You again. Hello. All right. Got plenty of supplies. I like a fat I've man. I've got a few minutes to browse. Just don't call it junk. So did Suski once upon a time. Okay. Uh, right. Any weapons with? No. Wasteland oh, Look at that fucking thing for a stealth build. I mean, I could afford it now. What's my chest piece? Is my chest piece the chameleon piece? Plus two. I mean... Nine and seventeen. This gets, this gets me five more um, damage distance. Four more. And agility and perception, which for me is better than luck. It's a thousand without me putting my charisma gear on. Hmm. Yeah, I appreciate it. Great. And I'm going to try and play completely blind. But I appreciate the assistance. Even if I can't read it. A fat man means he's been fed well. Um. I'm thinking if I make a big purchase. It would be my first big purchase, but that is nice. All right, Myrna, allow me to just slip into something a little bit more convincing. My fashionable glasses, my red dress, and my trilby. Myrna, I may sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Myrna Turtle. Yeah. Let's take a look. Odds and ends. I was daydreaming about cake and missed that. <laughs> It was nothing of any value, don't worry. Right, Wastelander's chest piece. That gets it down to 900. I think I can justify it, and I've done it. Yes. Okay, uh, apparel. Lucky girded. See, that's girded, it's only at 9. I think we, I think we do that. Is there anything I can sell her off? Uh, no, I'm not. I've got six antibiotics now. That's good shit. Right, jet. I've got too much of. We'll sell six jet back. We'll sell one medex. I'll keep myself at five of each of the major drugs. Two psycho we can sell. This is all just taking money off. I might sell some stims as well. How many? Ten stim packs. That works. So all I gave over there was 500. And now, I have a Wastelander chess piece with agility. Okay, this is getting my, maybe that's what I do. If I get my um, damage resistance up through the ceiling, then maybe I can then go back to Hubris Comics and just chop it. Okay, the chess piece looks very similar. But I need to go and Doll this up, don't I? So it's, what is it, Faded Visor? Hurdy girded. Monday stream tile absolutely ruined. Well done, Kim. 
All right, that was a good. You that trader? Up from Quincy? You sell any? Who needs a haircut? Ointment, this itch. Step up. What do you need ointment for? What itch? Maybe if you had a wash. Don't let the stress of life Is the paper out with me in it? Extra, extra. It's paid lady. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's hmm? your free coffee. Hmm. View from the vault, part one and part two. And part three. I'm in the paper. I'm reading this. Forgive me. This stream's fallen all over the place, so I'm just going to treat myself to reading whatever this is. View from the vault. This is that interview I did the other day. None of you nerds are in the paper. View from the Vault, Part 1 by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there's so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True, what we have would be unthinkable even a few decades ago, but it's easy to forget that even after all the progress we've made, we're still living in the shadow of the world that was. A world before the threat of radiation, before the super mutant, the feral ghoul and the synth. So, as fortune often has it, I cross paths with Suski. Oh, it's... Oh, vault Dweller, a person who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. What would her fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City the great green jewel we've always claimed it to be? Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know who Suski is, where she comes from. To my surprise, she didn't have much to say about her life in the vault at all because she spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass every day for over two centuries. That's right, Suski isn't just a Vault Dweller, she's an original Vault Dweller. She spent her entire time on the inside, cryogenically suspended. You're going to be in the paper in a few minutes. Why? What have you done? Oh, God. She's enacted her plan. So what does Suski have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? Can you even compare the two? The world out here, it's not even close to the one I left. While we like to think of our city as a shining jewel, it's worth remembering that not everybody comes here by choice. Sometimes people are forced from the comforts of their homes and the largest settlement in the Commonwealth. And as the largest settlement in the Commonwealth, this is where they end up. Most are just looking for refuge, but sometimes they come here desperately looking for something, or someone. You see, Suski has a son, Sh Drim. And even though they were in the relative safety of a vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parent. And that parent is now risking everything, wandering through this strange and unfriendly world of ours in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. Although in reality, I've completely forgotten that I have a son, it would appear. We all know the rumours and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City. The guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why indeed? Are we down on the greens? What, you mean on the, on the year? We're in the lead, kid. No, wait, wait, that's not even right. Hang on a minute. Let me just correct this, everybody, because Tags Like would a death stream yesterday, don't forget. So it's 49 to 47 in favour of the fucking origin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We've spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but knowing so little about them. They're not the only ones responsible for kidnappings, but the fact they sometimes are, and the fact that we've been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnappings as if they're a lost cause. But the people left behind, those loved ones, friends and neighbours who may never see the faces of those taken from them again, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that loss with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget it. Next page. Never mind, she's dead in a comic book. No, we don't. comic books are for fucking losers. We only deal with newspapers now. I asked Suski to make a statement to Diamond City to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how she feels. Maybe, in some way, it's how we all should feel. Maybe we've forgotten what the right human response to these tragedies are. No matter how much you want to give up, don't, she said. You have to have hope You have to, you, that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. End. Just thought you finished reading. No. We made the paper. Let me go speak to Piper about it. I actually like the whole thing in Diamond City. It's just when I go out and get fucking shot, I don't like Piper. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? No. You know what? Never mind. You know where to find me. 
I thought I could go in here and talk to Piper about the article that she wrote about me, but apparently not. The way Siri said comic book. What did he say? Suski looks fucked up. Actually needs more scars trim now you've said it. Dearest Suski has taken a few new hits. You Two need adding, us. don't they? Oh, God. Right, what time is it? Uh, it's 11am. Maybe we sleep to the next point. We'll go and do this um, confidence thing. Look, Scava, I ain't buying anything. Siri does have the ability to be very sarcastic when pushed. Hey, hey, hey. Right, where is he? He's not going to be here, is he? I need to be. It's after six. He's going to come in and we're going to stage a fight. Throw up all over my floors. Well, hello there, princess. Easy green, welcome to the stream. I've had four deaths in one room. It's been bad. Okay, eight hours gets me to what? No, seven hours? I've got eight. It's awful, Easy Green. Good morning. I found what seems to be an unkillable, uh, uncompletable mission. And in attempting to do it, it slaughtered me. Um, purified water, back to properly hydrated. And now I'm about to try and convince the guy on the radio to be a bit more confident. Is he in here yet? Lost? You're in room two. We don't know if there's a back door yet, Sid. No. I, I had a, look, a quick look around, but I suppose I'll go check it in the future. Here he is. What, what, what's this about? I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do? Do about it. You tell him. <clears throat> hey Maybe there, I don't pal. like your oh, little radio you. program. What you have to say about it. I'm here that. to give you a hand. I, I, I mean, you're not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. This is a staged fight, by the way, to give him some confidence. Why not stand up to him? No. I mean, no, that would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it could, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Um, 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 um. I don't want to accidentally get a gun out and shoot him. Okay, that's... Well, go on, Travis. Enough. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Well, they're not tunnel snakes, so. Nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. It sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. Go what are you gonna do, little man? Go on, Travis. Uh -huh. I'll beat you up. Yes. Make a mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Whoa. Ow. This is staged, though. Don't forget, I can't actually die. How does this work, I wonder? He's blocking everything. Maybe it's a parry setup. Yes, gouger, get shit on. Oh. Okay, I better not actually knock him out though, are they? Also, Travis is getting dead kicked in. Block. Nice. <clears throat> oh, God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just bullshit. This Travis. is bullshit, man. Oh, this is not what I signed up for. This ain't Hi. over. Hear me? Travis, you did it. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. How do you feel now, huh? I don't know. I mean, wow, I just... Wow! I never thought I could do... Uh, anything like that! That was crazy! Wow. Hey, listen, I, uh, thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. 
He's going to be fucking insufferable after that. Look at the blood everywhere. Dougie, that was a guy. It was a staged fight to try and get Travis. Who, that's the guy from the radio to try and get him a bit more confidence. <laughs> I've made a mess. Did I bleed? Don't think I did. He's got that Top Gun Tom Cruise look. Brent, who's Brendan Hunkin? Yeah, yeah. I don't know the name. Was that good? <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of full proof plan? What? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Yes, now, the blonde girl. I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Okay. Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking <laughs> she is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? This seems a bit questionable. If Scarlet's not in on it. All this just so he could get a better radio experience. Tunnel Snake, so then, utterly defeated. Ah, oh, well, he's a princess already, so there's no need to worry about more death. Sit! We were thinking of doing a... Anonymous guessing over the course of like the next week where people private message me their guess for how many chops I get in the entire playthrough. And then, um, if you guess it perfectly, you get five points, and if you're just the closest, you get three. Uh, I've not seen Ted Lasso, I'm getting no. Uh, I don't know if he's been in anything else, but you may know, but there's a picture in Discord. I don't recognize that guy. He was posting pictures of me dying in my summer of uh, Benumnum dying in my summer care. You recognise the voice though. Right, um hang on a minute. Let me work out what he's just asked me to do, because it seems shady beyond belief. Scarlet, the dugout inn's waitress, needs to be talked into spending some quality time with Travis Miles. I don't like the idea of talking her into it. Where is she? She's already left. Another bounty up near there is. Super Mutants in Wilson Automatoys Corporate HQ. Super Mutants have been spotted in Wilson's Automatoys Corporate Headquarters. These green skinned monsters threaten us all. They may be frightening, but that just means supplies you can take off their disgusting bodies will be all the sweet. Yeah, we'll take it. You're not worried about the copyright music. Not complaining, just wondering. Um, So I upload to YouTube every VOD, and YouTube's got an AI thing that just takes the music out now, and it's actually really good. Um, but on Twitch, it very rarely mutes it. If at all. I don't just wander around listening to the radio if that if you've noticed that. But yeah, not too worried. Not on Twitch, anyway. You know what you're looking for? She's over here, apparently. Where is she, Scarlet? This, I don't, I'm not too sure about this. What's she doing out here as well? She's just working the fat. Is that what she does during the night? Or she's just standing out here on her own? Uh, Scarlet? Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Oh. I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah, I guess I would. Okay, never mind. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No, no, I couldn't just go over there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. I don't like any of these options. Do we pay her to be romantically engaged with someone? 
Do we threaten her into being romantically engaged with someone, or do we persuade her to be romantically engaged with someone? None of these options feel good. Okay, what I will do. Look. Oh, either I didn't you mean... can go visit Travis, or you can go visit the doctor. Your choice. What the hell? What is wrong with you? I didn't mean to do that. I meant to back out of the conversation and open the pit boy with the B button and accidentally threatened her into. Okay. Um. Give me a second. Let me go like this, like this, like this, and like this. Which gets our. Charisma up to eight now. Hey, Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... You have to go through the dialogue again. Well, he was brave. Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Is bribe or persuade? Persuade is morally better, right? Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll there go see is. him now. Thanks. Okay, that felt better than bribing. Also, it was cheaper. Does he live in? I think he lives in the dime in the radio headquarters thing. Look. I wonder how birth control works in this world. I assume it doesn't, right? Press 1 to follow them and eavesdrop on their conversation. No. No. Let's let young love flourish and not get involved too much. We've lit the uh, touch paper now. I think we need to back away and leave them to it. Also, I need to get dressed back into my proper gear. Chameleon girded left, bang, military fatigues, Wastelander's chest... Was it Wastelander's chest piece? That's the agility and perception one, right? Whereas the lucky one is the one I didn't want to be wearing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged. What scraps? Oh, wow, you're tall. How come in every Bethesda game you get absolutely mugged by people? What perk is the ka -ching? It's uh, That's just me passing speech checks easy green, I think. It's not a perk specifically, it's just me successfully convincing people of stuff. Can I get Idiot Savant, however, to proc on a quest hand in? I did it earlier and I got 800 XP. I think it was 800. I'm just checking things are working, alright. I really don't like streaming. Sorry, I, I, it makes me nervous because I opened OBS in the wrong way, which is weird, which means that I might be having frame drops and stuff, so just let me know. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got what? to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Th Who? Those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Brilliant. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I, I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. I thought this was just going to be one of them quests where you kind of wander around town and just enjoy a bit of... But no. Oh, damn. Alright, Travis. I'm going to have to interrupt Travis anyway. Yeah, that's just me passing uh, speech checks. He's great. I don't think... I don't know if there is a perk for better convincing people, because there's no like, speech tree, is there, in this game, like there was in the others. I mean, Boston is a town, but as we've seen, it's very, very hostile. Especially for friends at comic book. Oh, Siddle said run the bases. I assume you can actually go from base to base and maybe get an achievement or something. He said it in response to achievements. 
Hostile? Who would have guessed? Well, that was my point exactly, right? I'm looking for a less hostile situation than Boston. Diamond City Radio. Oh, I don't want to catch them two at it, do I? No. Travis, are you in? You are. Hey there. What's going on? Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yafim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... That's not a funny joke. Like, at all. You think this is a joke? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh, oh man, wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. What does it matter whose fault it was? I guess... Maybe it doesn't matter. But getting him back does. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever... No, don't come with me. Then I'm gonna help get him back. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... if that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and... And then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Is it me? Right now. What were you two doing in here? Is it me, or did he just... His voice changed? He had like a, a, almost like a psychotic break there. Travis! I gotta... I gotta get my stuff together. And I'll meet you there. Okay. Did you hear his voice change? Is that what you're responding to, kid? Go back and live in your vault, then. Beantown Brewery, though. His balls just dropped out of nowhere. The fight did help him be tough. Alright, we need to go back to the Beantown Brewery and get Vadim back. Have I got time? Yeah, we got this. Come to the post-apocalyptic, I'm sure. God, come to post-apocalyptic Seattle, I'm sure even then we'd avoid conflict and never jaywalk. Jay Is jaywalking a crime in the US, right? I'm assuming that's just crossing any road that hasn't got a crossing on it. It's a crime. That's wild, right? There's, that's not even a minor concern in this country. You can do it wherever you want. You can even do it on the motorway if you're an idiot. You, know? you still catch yourself not doing it. That is wild that it's a crime. I mean, I can kind of see why it's a crime. Sort of. Okay, my HP's going up from the bar fight. We're fine. Rarely enforced kind of like speeding. <laughs> then again, I guess your roads are a lot different to ours, right? Nine out of ten of our roads are small, uh, quite slow. Sing all, almost all of them are single lane. It's difficult, but I guess if you've got them big multi-lane, big intersections and stuff, I can understand why you don't want people running around. It's not enforced really, but yeah, it is a law. Would it feel a bit tight if a police officer did you for it? Right, do I walk north now? Yeah, and then I might save at Oberland Station. Because that's near to you the Beantown, the city. Beantown Brewery. CCK3, welcome back. 33. Considering how crappy drivers can be and pedestrians can be, it's a small attempt to protect ourselves from each other. I can see it, though, I suppose. Like, I get, and like I said, I think it's a road design thing as well, right? Um, our roads are too small and slow to be that dangerous, I suppose. It would feel very tight, yeah. Warning, fine, but an actual citation wouldn't really happen unless he's trying to meet a quota or he's just an ass. Yeah. I mean, you can get your wrist slapped for breaking a law, right? But, as a, but for actually... To get more than that would just feel a bit unreasonable. 
It's not really a concern in other US cities, but Seattleites always wait for the light for some reason. I mean, it's a good thing, right? If there's a rule there. People sticking to it, get respect. It's more poor driving skills here in the US. For instance, stop signs are apparently now considered by most drivers as a suggestion. <laughs> I think I've heard that before, yeah. But the rule probably keeps people safer, I would imagine. I know, we can all think of maybe slight things that it might cause in response to that, but if people are getting run over less, that's got to be a good thing. Can't imagine if pedestrians have the right of way, way everywhere in the state. Or anywhere. Hmm. Do you have a theory part of your driving tests out there? I know it'll be different from state to state. Because looking out for people that might potentially be crossing the road is like a huge part of our theory test. Hazard perception, yeah. I'm guessing from that question there is no theory part. We have to take a test. Not in a car, just like a, a, a test test that we have to study for. That's based on road rules and situational... Um, Things to do in certain situations and signage and all that sort of stuff. Oh, you take it for your permits, I see, gotcha. You have to learn with an adult for a year. I need to go to Oberland, don't I? I'm sure I don't miss Oberland Station, which I think is over the water here. That's it, isn't it? No, that's a burning... Where's Oberland? That better not be Oberland, it's just on fire. Fuck, I think I've missed it, and I'm nearly at Beantown. Then you take the test again, and then you do a driving test. Got it. I almost got hit a few years back, crossing in the crosswalk with the light in my favour. A driver just rolled right through the red light, and I almost became, and I almost became a hood ornament. Jesus. Yeah, I think that's the rule in, in this country as well. It's whether you have the right of way or not, just be unbelievably vigilant. Cause there's a, just because you've done everything right as a pedestrian doesn't mean that there's some dickhead doing everything wrong as a driver, does it? At the same time, a fair amount of pedestrians think that the law will stop a £3,000 vehicle from hitting them. You need to learn to think for yourself and always be exactly yes, yeah. Yeah. You've got to assume... I mean, it's the actual rule for driving, right, is assume everybody around you is drunk and an idiot and drive accordingly. Because your fucking life depends on it, doesn't it? Look twice and then twice more, yeah. Belt and braces, as it were. Towns don't get it, he'll just step out. I'll sit back and look a few times and listen out if a car may be close and look again and then cross. Oberland Station is just south of the brewery, right? So let me just... I'm going to cross by. Travis is probably waiting for me here, but I'm going to leave him. Hop over the rebar. Oh, there's Travis. Travis, I'll be with you shortly. I just need to go and save. At my, uh, I've got a little house nearby. It's beautiful. Now with electric cars... I know... I know it's something that, like, it's no surprise to anybody, but sometimes when you're walking and you notice something out of the corner of your eye and it's an enormous car pulling up at speed. It's so quiet. What was that? That's my machine gun to it. Right, I'm going to nip over to Oberland and we're going to go and meet Travis. I don't want Vadim or whatever he's called to die. I kind of like him, even though he's a bit... He's, the origin of his accent is confusing. Hello, people of Oberland. They're probably sleeping, aren't they, in the beds that I want to sleep in. Kick them out of their beds, maybe? I'm hoping to get my health up. There we go. Are you two asleep in here? I want to sleep. 
I wonder if I've got enough materials to make a bed of my own. Because otherwise we're going to shoot some people. God, using this thing, by the way, is 50 times easier on control. I'm going to have to sleep outside. In the elements. Oh, this is depressing. It's been a bad day. Um, I'm going to go for I'll go for eight. I seem to get well rested more if I sleep for eight hours than I do if I sleep for seven. Maybe eight hours is the golden number. Oh, there's the water plant where I got them two dead. Oh. The problem with this game now is it's just littered with places I've died in the past. Birth control is just douching in the river water. Maybe I have to just be responsible. See, here's the thing, right? What if I die in here because Dickhead is terrible at stealth? He's not got Sneak 3 and all the good perks like I have. Then again, Travis could put... I tell you what, if Travis wants to prove his confidence, he needs to get himself to Hubris Comics and clear that place out for me. How about that? Chris Man, my love, welcome to the stream. How are we? Chris Man, I got stuck in an unkillable situation, uh, uncompletable situation, and now I am a pretty princess. Your pretty princess. Is that a good thumbnail? I don't know if that's a good thumbnail. It's a thumbnail. Damn right you are. And now I'm helping this guy get his confidence back. Travis! Oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? You know anything else about this brewery? Not really. I mean, I think it's... It's where their little gang hides out. There shouldn't be too many of them. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Stay back. Yeah, I can actually say it. I go in first, and you... Stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. We're doomed. What the fuck have you brought with you? A pipe rifle. Can you stealth? Are you actually st standing here and waiting? Oh no, he's going in. Travis, listen. If you could stay outside... Hey there. If you could stay outside, this would be fine. I've cleared it once. I don't know what's going to be in here, Elkirion, now you've said it. Wash your back. Keep your feet on the ground. More work. Chris, I will this morning. Okay, we've been through here once. Travis is not... I've got all this stealth gear. I've got four perks of the stealth... Um, of the sneak. It's four ranks of the sneak perk. I've got four magazines to improve my stealth. And here I am. If Travis dies, is that a chop? Yeah, the monkeys respawn. Travis, stop pushing me. That's put us in caution. There's a guy waking up. There's a fucking guy waking up. There's a guy waking up. Bip, 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 bip and tear. Find you. Still in caution. Got him. Travis, well done. Talking about when I killed Eric in that thing. He's keen, he is. This guy was keen. In bed, fading in and out of it to stubble AI ASMR. Chris, man, you've made a good stream into a bad one. It's been chaos today. Did you just open that door? I hate you. I, I, I'm, ch I'm changing my mind. Today's stream has been an almighty shit show, but now Chris, man's here. I'm happy. Yeah, let's cook all this up. Can I have idiot savant? Please, just to cheer me up. Just once. No, okay, apparently not. Hmm. 
Right, Travis, stay down. I've never hated somebody more than I hate you right now. Get if I walk around this corner, could... I could. Right, shut that door. You. Excuse me. Travis. He's gonna get me fucking killed. So he's over there. He's gotta be in the office where he was before, right? You would assume. I keep having the option to pickpocket. I'm gonna end up pickpocketing by accident, aren't I? And now I don't know whether I'm detected and who by and for what. Because of fucking Travis, that guy can die. Oh shit, that guy's gonna see Tra- Right, we're bipping. Travis, get back. Travis, stop fucking blocking me, knobhead. Come this way. Oh, yeah, 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 you stay there. I'm still in caution. Does Travis deserve any confidence from this shit? When you turn up. But, Can people stop just charging at me? A console table made of corn? What down there? That's Bull. That's the guy from the bar fight. Oh crap. Uh uh, um, oh god. That was a miss. I might be dead here. I might be dead. I keep hitting the wall. Right, kill Bull. Bull's dead. Travis is tanking. They're the two from the bar fight, so they've got Vadim somewhere. Have one of them got a key, maybe? Compensated, calibrated, powerful 10mm pistol. Grease. What's a greaser jacket do? Oh, Too look. Man, come back. I was having fun. Travis did shoot him in the dick. Do you know what, Travis? You don't deserve confidence. You're scaring me. Why can I hear it? Either I can hear a cockroach or Travis's arsehole squeaking. Right, let me sleep. Can I sleep with enemies nearby? Good. Right, we've saved. Travis, move. That does sound like a roach, doesn't it? Travis Sothan was the guy from Diamond City Radio who is lacking confidence, so the barman said, Tell you what, let's stage a bar fight so Travis can get some confidence back. I staged said bar fight, but I accidentally beat one of the guys up who you called Tunnel Snakes earlier. Um, and apparently the barman didn't pay the guys that they staged the fight, so they've kidnapped the barman. And now this guy wants more confidence by rescuing Tra uh, the barman, and now we're here. The tunnel snakes are dead. Already. Who was who it was the guy? It's already past tens. It's all kicked off so <laughs> Okay, it's a three oh eight. Short hunting rifle, what does that do for me? Fifty nine damage. Travis, stop pushing me out of die. Also, so then I've never hated a character bar in my entire life. This is why you don't take companions anywhere. I'm assuming that Vadim, the barman's over there. I need to clear the room though. I hate him. I hate him. Every inch of every fiber of my being. Do it. I might have to crit the other guy though, because if he charges me with a shotgun. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, that might be everybody in the building dead. Three oh eight stim pack, pretty good. Another stim. It was Bull's ghost. <laughs> Will you fucking stim? 
I don't know what... Here I am, as I was saying. I've got four ranks of the sneak perk. I've got four books that increase my stealth. I've got gear that is shadowed and chameleon, which increases my basic stealth level. And I'm wandering around with fucking boyo Weaver who doesn't even know how to crouch. Right, for Deem's in here. I didn't get a key off either of the bodies, though, which is concerning. Yeah, there he is, look. Take the bottle caps. More 308 I'll take. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they going to come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. I Ooh. promise. I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> Hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been, well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. What are you going to do now? Well, that's what I've been thinking about. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway. Thanks again. I owe you. Pretty much a psychopath, so then, yeah. The trials and tribulations of being somebody's mentor. Pop companions. <clears throat> okay. Right, got six minutes left. I wonder if I can make it back to Cambridge from here and hand in the other quest and see if we can at least ding in today's stream. Travis, you good? Yeah? <laughs> One of the options was to call him an idiot. I, was it actually easy, Green? I always go for the top option, because it seems to be just, like, inquire. They seem to have simplified the speech mechanics a bit. But it probably works out. How about a comic book for the road? No! I'm leaving. Goodbye. What's the chances that Hubris Comics is the final thing I need to do? Then I still dare do it when I'm decked. What if I go in in power armor? And a minigun? Press 1, if next week... I just walk in the door of Hubris Comics in power armour, with a minigun, and just light the entire place up. That might actually be it, because what's a ghoul gonna scra- how's a ghoul gonna scratch me to death in power armour? And then... I can get the monkey off my back of what is uh, Hubris Comics. Power armor, why didn't we think to suggest that? Because you wanted to see me die. For those that didn't see earlier, we're thinking of maybe, given that I'm now a pretty princess, we are thinking of maybe... Um, giving five points to the person, to somebody if they can correctly guess the amount of chops for the rest of the playthrough. It's probably going to be done anonymously. We'll give Everybody's got like a week to guess. 
Three points if you're the closest, but if you get it bang on, you get five. No, didn't want to suggest how to play the game. That would be spoilers. Respect. <laughs> oh, what if this stream has been a shit show from start to finish? Fuck. Um, where's Scribe Halen, Mr. Dance? I need to speak to her about something. Is she in here? She's got a private terminal in here, doesn't she? There she is. Any luck with that artifact? Here it is, and still in good shape, too. Here's tech will always be in demand. Let me know if you think you can handle another run. Another quest. I didn't get any XP for that. Never mind. Go on. Ah! Oh! Do I do another one? What do I have to do? You'll be locating a piece of tech in a given location, and be prepared to deal with some opposition along the way. Affirmative. All right. You've got the area on your map, so move it. Bad TFL regional office. Fine. I'll do that. All right. When I, my Isn't goal was leading that mission, standing around or what? You are the asshole that gave me the. Um, Hubris Comics mission. Press what? No. No! Alright, what time is it? We've got two minutes. Maybe I make myself way back to uh, the Hangman's Alley at least, and we'll call it there. Affirmative that. Oi, oi, oi. Alright. The 10 shop challenge died today. I made it 45 hours or something like that through the game, but the game ate me at the end. And it wasn't from starvation or anything, it was from getting trapped by ghouls in a doorway and slaughtered. It's done. I am now a pretty princess. But that does not mean that we are stopping the playthrough. I am beating this game on survival. If it kills me, which it probably will. Alright, tell you what I'll do. I'll spend this two minutes, I'll go back to um, Oberland Station because it's right here. I might finish my playthrough of this. Got to see how the frame rate holds up with the mods removed. Yeah. It does. The frame rate on my PC is flawless. I say flawless, it's 60, but the. For some reason on OBS, it struggles with it now and again. Like every now and again, you might notice it. You see a hitch in there. Seems alright. You were always a pretty princess. So, what date is it today? Eight? No. Fourth? Or fifth? Fourth or fifth? I can't go back to my normal self until, self until May the 4th. Oh, Star Wars. Ooh. I will be stubbler again on May the 4th, but for now in Discord I have to spend an entire month with a pink name and the pretty princess title. I have failed. Suski has failed. And I am now a laughing stock. Doubler, you should have been a comic. Shut up. You're a real stand-up guy. Doom Har Lemon inverted question mark one quarter. I calm. Woof 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 woof. Oh, <laughs> I really like the ending. <laughs> Hello, so it's fucking Vadim on his way back. Vadim, I will see you next week because this is the last Fallout stream for this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of every week I will be continuing this playthrough until I've beaten this awful game and all the DLCs. But for now I'm going to save super quickly and I'm going to announce that tomorrow, get a load of this, tomorrow is not Polybridge because we beat Polybridge for it at 3 on Friday. Tomorrow is the beginning of a new playthrough of the brand new 2024 Portal 2 Story mod. Portal Revolution. That is going to be our new Physics Friday game until we've done it, and then we will be heading to um, Teardown. Chris, man, remember that? Imagine that. Teardown making its return on a Friday. Tomorrow is Friday, yeah, that's it. Right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of every week for the Fallout streams. I appreciate everybody sticking with this stream. It's been a bit of a shit show. Isn't Portugal 2 just Brazil? <laughs> Portugal 2. But yes, that is it for me. I, I, again, sorry for today's stream being a shit show. Everybody that's stuck with it, you are, get my respect. I'll see you on Monday for more uh, 
Fallout. I'll see you tomorrow for the start of the big new Physics Friday game, Portal Revolutions. If you haven't played it, it's a new story-based campaign for Portal 2. I will see you there for that, but for now, thank you all for the followers. Uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Trim! Tobler, it's okay. Only sour death today. There's always next week. Yeah, there has been four deaths today, haven't they? Oh! Awful. Right, I will see you on Monday for the return of Suski, but for now, I love you all, and if you're stopping by, if you're in the Doomass Discord, which is linked down below, free for anybody to join, stick around, and we'll have one run of marbles. But for now, leave me alone. What's the chances that Marbles is updating? Let's play it. <laughs> shit kicked off today. You just ignored all the shit that kicked off. All right. For the, those that uh, aren't aware, the Doomhouse Discord is split evenly down the middle between those with green names and those with orange names. The greens and the oranges of the Doomhouse Discord compete at the end of every stream to determine which team is the winning team. The greens are the oranges. If you would like to join the Discord, it is linked down below. If you are already in the Discord, then you must simply type the password, I will give you a marble, and then if your marble wins, you become the winner of marbles for the day. Marbles. Marbles. Marbles appear on screen. Thank you. I did. Still had a tiny little bitch though. It's not my problem anymore. Princess. Right, boys and girls of the Doom Master Squad, if you'd like to take part in today's stream, this is a double point marbles. So if you want to almost automatically qualify for Eurovision, today is a good day to do it. If you would like to join for today, you must simply type the password. And the password for today is... Actually, it's been a chaos stream. I'm going 17 marbles. The password for today is... Comics. Princess. Go. <sighs> okay, we've got Kitten for the oranges for today. We've got Alkyrion for the oranges. Sothan for the greens. Trim for the greens. Twelve for the oranges. Satan for the oranges. Easy green for the greens. Cats for the greens. Dougie for the greens. Chris man, my love for the oranges. Lundios, welcome to the stream for the greens. Kelly, welcome to the stream as well for the oranges. Uh, for the greens. Yes, it's double points trip. Death streams, right? Shake for the oranges. Santa for the greens. Chaz for the greens. Azzy, welcome to the stream for the oranges. And Tagslack, welcome to the stream as well for the oranges. Look at that. I guessed 17. Tax like you're in. Right. Boys and girls, first person to begin with, you want 10 picks the level. Go. Welcome to the stream, everybody that's joining for Marbles. We've got Kitten, Alkyrion, Seth and Trim, 12, Satan, Easy Green, Cats, Dougie, Chris Man, Lundios, Kelly, Shake, Santa, Chaz, Azzy, and Tag Slack. Eight oranges and nine greens. Kitten says five. One, two, three, four, five presses gets us to the level, the raging pin. 17 marbles enter today. Three, two, lovely. Best of luck for those that don't have points. Is there anybody here that is yet to get points this year? We have Trim, I think Chris Man, right? Anybody else? Best of luck, Santa's the record holder. Two points to the winning team. Oranges win this. We go two point, no, four points clear of the greens. Greens win this, and they are back in contention, tying the scores. Kitten, Kelly, and Trim immediately fell off. Tag Slack, who won yesterday, is looking to get his second points. Twelves here as well. This is very, very orange to start it off. Tag Slack immediately almost, I was, I was going to say, overtaken by Easy Green, but Easy Green just can't get there. Sothan in third place. Easy Green second. Tag Slack still holding it down. This looks like it's going to be easy green against Tag Slack unless anybody can get out of the bullshit. Could Tag Slack get up to four points, winning double? He could go from having no points this year to four in the space of 24 hours. Sothan's on the chase though. Tag Slack has to get lucky on the pin. 12's gone backwards. Tag Slack's got a hell of an advantage, but he has to use it. 
Taxite gets the drop. 12 is approaching. Sofan is approaching. Taxite, go! I want this to be where the oranges take the lead and just never relinquish it. Taxite gets the drop. He's almost on the raging pin. Taxite has been pegged. Has it benefited him? It hasn't. Taxite is shot. Sofan is pegged. Can he stick the landing? He can't. Santa can. Santa is chopped as well. Alkirion tries to skip. It isn't working for anybody. Easy Green fired off the level. This is good. There's only Cats and Lundios that can do it for the... No, Easy Green stuck the landing. If Easy Green gets a lucky drop, he doesn't. Cats is coming at speed. Cats is dead. It's Easy Green, Lundios versus three oranges. And the oranges all have the lead as we speak. Easy Green's chasing 12, though. 12's trying. This is a bad camera angle. Actually, Easy Green might get himself in the lead. Lundios and Easy Green versus three oranges. 12 is out into the lead. This could be it for the oranges. Is anybody here yet to get their first point? I don't think anybody is. Maybe Shake? Can 12 get the hit the right timing? Lundios hits the right time. Taxlack put the oranges two points ahead yesterday. Lundios has put has tied the scores again. 49 to 49, and Lundios gets two points. I've accidentally muted alerts. And here comes the green rain. Why is this year so tight? Nobody has kept a lead for more than a few days, right? I don't get it, Lundios. Thank you for the big, big, big bits. Congratulations, you have tied the scores again. When I put effort into balancing this year, I think I maybe balanced it too much. <laughs> How fucking close is this? All right, Lundios has the crown on his head. That must be good for Lundios' uh, points this year, though, right? Lundios now up to five in fourth place on the year. Shit. All right, Azzy, Katz, Alkiri on Santa, Sotan, Tags, like Chaz, Dougie, Satan, Chris, Bad, Trim, Kelly and Kitten all took a big shot. Lundios wins. What a perfectly timed jump that was. And that brings to an end one of the most frustrating streams in Doom House history. So let me press this, 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 and this, and let me get out of here. Jesus. About to say it's different in stream races and golf. The differences in stream races and golf may be making it tight exactly. It seems like everything we've done has made the year a lot tighter than it was last year. Crikey. All right. So not only was I right. It's fucking us. Next year, um, oranges, I promise I'll adjust it so that we just dominate. Deal? Right, your person sent you the day is Lundios gaining two points and putting the scores back on 49 each. We are coming up to a third of the way through the year. And it's bang level. Again. If you'd like to compete in this rubbish, there'll be another one tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is normal marbles and stream races, but tomorrow's game is not Polybridge as we completed it last Friday and we are now starting a brand new game of Portal Revolution. We're going to take a look at this story-based mod. It's downloaded and ready to go, so I'll see you at normal time tomorrow. But for now, that is it. Scores are in the pins if you'd like to keep up on who has what. Thank you all for the support today. Thank you for the bits and the hosts and the subs. But more importantly, thank you for the patience today. That was a lot of deaths, and you find me now in a with a pink name and a tiara on as your pretty princess. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Thank you for the bits, the subs, the hosts, the raids again as everything. I appreciate everybody's time. I'm getting out of here. I will see you tomorrow for Portal. But for now, if you're staying on the platform, Cheeky is live, who I hope you all followed yesterday. Uh, no Alkyrion today? He's too busy celebrating the pretty princess thing. You know what it's like. But that's it for me. I love you all. Can somebody think of a final word? As I say, Kitten, Easy Green, Cats, Lundios, Sothan, 12, Dougie, Tagslack, Trim, Azzy, Shake, Kelly, Lundios, Chris Van, and everybody else. I love you all. I will see you all tomorrow. But the final word is your highness. Fuck.